been kind of fast today, but I have an urgent message for you from Scripture. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 13 through 18 deals with a very, very special topic, and that is the rapture, the taking away of the church from this earth. Listen, this is not this is not smoke and mirrors, this is not conjecture, not sensationalism. This is a fact, a known fact, that this is going to take place. Do not think this is just something to take lightly. You need to understand that the scriptures are forever settled in heaven. They're not under scrutiny here. They are settled. God wants us to understand there is a day coming that the following would take place. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command and with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. And after that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. You know what that means? We are to talk about these things. We are to encourage each other that these things are coming about. We don't know when, but when the father tells the son, son, go get my children, he'll be here. Will you be rapture ready? Because listen, one third of a second, there's no time for anybody to pray for forgiveness or say, give me a second chance or anything else. If you're left behind, you're going to experience seven years of tribulation. It's going to be hell on earth, so to speak. Things are going to be so terribly bad, you won't even be able to buy food. Oh yeah, the Antichrist will rule, especially that last three and a half years. It's going to be impossible. Doctors, food, nothing like that will be accessed unless you take the mark of the beast. Listen, folks, engage, get in the word, get yourself in a church somewhere that teaches the word. All right, this is Pastor Jim Reese signing off.